course he would. Right. Of course right. he would. Okay. Chris Rock or Martin Lawrence? Chris Rock or Martin Lawrence? Just take a shot. No, nah, man, I'm a fucking answer. <laughs> these, aren't, these aren't bad answers. And I don't, <laughs> if I don't have to drink anymore, I'm going to try my best to not do it. Um, we got a recovery drink for you. you fuck, man. <laughs> okay. Martin, Martin is so dope because Martin, Martin is responsible. I'm going to have to say Martin, here's why. Martin is responsible for the careers of so many that were able to go on and be headliners and make real money after Def Jam, right? Mm. Um, this is not a talent answer, in my opinion. I'm putting mm. Martin, I'm putting Martin above Chris because Martin shifted the culture in comedy. Martin, if Martin hugs you after Def Jam, if Martin put his arm around you after Def Jam, if Martin called you back out after Def Jam, opportunities came to that person mm. because of that. Mm. If Martin said that motherfucker was funny. Y'all stop playing and give it up. One of the baddest, like if he said that, mm, and Martin right, verbalized right. that. Um, it's, it's along the same lines of Jimmy Carson back in the day. They said if Jimmy told you to sit on the couch, oh my God. Johnny, Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson, right, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. If Johnny Carson Jimmy told Carson, you to sit on I was on, mad confused. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> nah, but uh, man, he was called Jimmy back. I was like, who the fuck is Jimmy? <laughs> they said if Johnny invited a comic to the couch, right, it, that was, changed everything it was huge. To that yeah, yeah, yeah. That made Martin careers, Lawrence, right. Martin Lawrence, and Def Jam did that. And that wave, Def Jam was too big for mm. comedy. Martin was too big to comedy, and right. I don't feel like he gets talked about enough. I don't right. feel like people fucking understand how great Martin Lawrence mm. is and was. So I put him, I put him above Chris, simply because of that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, on a comic basis, like how many careers might have been made by that? Yeah, on a right. on a on a on a comedy basis, and we we're talking about something different where it was shift to Chris. But if we're going about who I would put, I'm going culture shifting, uh, his his world and what he represented for comedy and his prom, Martin Lawrence. For sure. We respect that.